Okay, thank you so much. So my presentation is very brief. Essentially, what we are going to present to you is uh, a WHO position statement on the evaluation of genetically modified mosquitoes for the control of vector borne diseases. Now, basically, this is a, a statement from, um, from the organization on what approach do we take with uh, GMM mosquitoes, basically genetically modified mosquitoes. And before I begin, I need to clearly tell you that this work is still at a very initial stage, uh, whereby there are two studies going on. One is in, uh, in, in uh, parts of Africa, in Burkina Faso, where a group is trying to uh, genetically modify uh, uh, Anopheles uh, gambiae and uh, make, making sure that it, uh, its transmission potential is lost and so they, it is no longer able to transmit uh, malaria and uh, it also leads to a population decline approach. So that, that uh, study is uh, very, very much in a preliminary stage. And uh, so as many of you know, genetically modified uh, organisms are, are, are been, um, test, been in, in evaluation for quite a long time. We have genetically modified crops, uh, genetically modified fish, genetically modified animals and so on. So, but there is a huge amount of debate about uh, genetically modified organisms. And there's a whole UN uh, mechanism um, studying this uh, approach. So this is why WHO came up with this position statement about this major step to clarify the organization's position because this uh, technology of genetically modification is currently being piloted for vector control. So the key position uh, issue here for WHO is that vector borne disease can, still causes about 700,000 deaths annually. And this is mainly mosquito borne. It is responsible for about 17% of the global burden of communicable diseases. And the key area of this statement is that WHO encourages innovation, including uh, genetically modified mosquitoes and evaluation of their potential to contribute to the available tools to reduce the global burden of vector borne diseases. However, this evaluation should be in a stepwise approach. So this is very important because uh, this technology uh, needs a completely different evaluation approach. And uh, this also needs, uh, there, is, there are legal issues, there are ethical issues, which the, uh, the promoter or the innovator has to address as we move forward. So genetically modified mosquitoes basically are mosquitoes with uh, heritable traits introduced by um, altering their DNA. And this can be passed on from generation to generation. And uh, this has the potential to reduce the transmission of the disease, either by transmission blocking mechanism or by suppression of the population. There are technologies which are currently being piloted where genetically modified mosquitoes uh, are restrictedly released. And this can be reversed if needed. So that is a uh, that is a, a safe method because we can reverse the method if we want. In a sense, we can stop them uh, for further breeding and it is reversible. So that is one approach which a uh, few groups are piloting. But then the larger approach is to release GM mosquitoes into the wild where it will persist and spread in the population. But in this case, it is irreversible. We cannot change it thereafter. So this brings in a lot of questions. Suppose a mosquito is released. Okay, if it is beneficial, fair enough. Are these mosquitoes fit enough in, to compete with the wild ones? Can they withstand fluctuations in temperature uh, and other abiotic factors? Now, the most important thing with the GM mosquito also is that, say, for example, you release a mosquito in one country, uh, mosquitoes doesn't need a visa it can move to other countries. And if that country doesn't adopt, uh, approve it, there is a legal problem here. So we really have to be absolutely sure what we are releasing. It has to be safe. And um, the, the gene drive system should be durable and affordable 
uh, offering protection against the disease. So this is a this is the key area. So why I am very brief today is that this is a technology fast evolving. We have a lot of unanswered question, but this WHO statement is mainly to clarify the position of the organization that GM mosquitoes uh, approach is encouraged, but it has to be evaluated in a very safe and systematic manner. I think the other issue is uh, WHO has also opened up a website, as you can see, a, a email link. Uh, you can send feedbacks on it to this link and WHO will use this to further enhance its guidance to provide to countries. And actually this position statement is available on our web and I think I have shared it with you. And uh, right now we are also translating it into Spanish and French. So I think that's it. Uh, this is a very brief uh, presentation basically on a new technology, which is completely different from what you have heard so far. And initial studies are on Anopheles mosquitoes. As I said, one is on Anopheles gambia and the other is working on Anopheles stephensi in India. Uh, but again, there is no uh, large scale releases or anything. It is in a very preliminary stage of studies uh, because the gene drive mechanisms have to be perfected uh, before it is really uh, put into the wild. So I will stop there and I welcome questions. And uh, it, is, it was really a pleasure to answer many of your questions in the chat. And uh, we also have a question answer session where we can catch up. Thank you very much.